school district, but whether we are or not, I understand Superintendent Vasquez is here, so would you stand and let us recognize you? And mentioned uh, by uh, Tavo were Macombs Partners. Macombs Partners is, is just the name we use for new businesses that we decide to become involved with. It's a very big part of what Macombs Enterprises is. It's headed up by uh, a UT graduate, a San Antonio guy named Rad Weaver. Uh, Rad was a 98 graduate uh, out here at the, uh, at the Macombs School. And, uh, uh, he's been working with us since he was a senior in high school. Uh, he's a dynamic leader. He's been very much involved in this project. And we got a number of Macombs partners here. We all fold in with whatever the, our area of expertise or what we're working on is. Uh, but we all fold in and all get into those 20-hour days and trying to put together <laughs> what's necessary to make these various things work. So. Rad, will you stand, and then will all the other members of the Macombs Partners Group that are here stick your hand up, and I guess most of them are over here. <laughs> the real linchpin to Macombs uh, uh, Enterprises for the last 35 years has been a Lockhart guy the name of Gary Woods. Gary also is our partner in many of our projects. Uh, uh, Gary is here this morning. He's been in a very much involved in us trying to find a way we could participate in this project. So, Gary, where are you? Right over here. Uh, we have been involved in a lot of spectaculars, as I call them, uh, primarily involved with NBA All-Star Games. Uh, I will mention that uh, what is now the biggest factor in NBA All-Star Weekend is the so-called uh, NBA Saturday at the All-Star Weekend. In the early 80s when I owned the Denver Nuggets, uh, we had the All-Star game there, and in putting together the program to stage it, we couldn't do the things that a lot of the, uh, the towns did that sponsored the All-Star game because they would have golf uh, uh, for uh, the day or two before the game, and they would have uh, other events, shopping tours and such. but. The first of February in Denver doesn't lend itself uh, to those kind of things. And uh, I was trying to see what we could do to jazz up the program and particularly give, give a program where the kids could be involved. And I came up with the events that are now known as NBA All-Star Saturday. And I will say that it has grown from that humble starting in early 82 uh, to be actually bigger than the game on Sunday bigger than the game itself insofar as people participating and as far as sponsorship money and such. But uh, I put that together in Denver. The league has carried it on since. We've been able to do the same thing at an all-star game uh, uh, in San Antonio. And as I'd mentioned, uh, uh, Steinbrenner's involvement of convincing me that San Antonio would never host major events until we got a facility. Uh, we did get that, and he saw that we got the Olympic Festival the first year that, that we opened, and we're still enjoying the, uh, the economic development we get off of Alamo Dome, and of course, most recently, it houses uh, the uh, Dallas Cowboys in their, in their fall program starting workouts, and which they're over there right now, and they're really a, it's a big plus to our city, and uh, we're proud of them. But at any rate, I just say that in that we're not new to uh, sporting events and spectacular programs. Uh, it's not that uh, we know everything there is to know about it, but we know quite a bit about it. Uh, and when Tavo came and asked if we would participate in this, uh, we had to get on a quick learning curve of what uh, Formula One is and, and what it means. Uh, frankly, uh, we found that we had family members uh, who were very much aware of it because they're really into it. And Gary Woods and his family have been to events all over the world. Uh, I had no idea the scope of Formula One, uh, so we got on a, on a quick uh, learning curve to try to get there. Uh, in saying that uh, the conversation I had with, with the leader uh, in London uh, earlier this morning, uh, he said the biggest uh, issue to him is people around the world 
where these events are staged are saying, how in the world do you think you're going to get uh, a facility built and get this thing done in San, uh, in Austin uh, in time to do that 12 race? And uh, uh, Bernie made me real proud when I told him, remember, you're talking about doing this in Texas. We're not talking about doing it somewhere else. <laughs> so uh, we do have that reputation uh, as a state and as a people. Uh, you're proud of it, and I can assure you that uh, – I'm proud of it. I was thinking this morning driving over here as to how much Austin has meant to me and my family all these years, and I was thinking about Austin 40 years ago when we were all involved in trying to see if we couldn't uh, create in Austin something that was much more than just the state capital and the home of the uh, university. And of course, uh, the outcome of a lot of work and a lot of, of people's uh, uh, initiatives and vision uh, has brought us to the Austin that we have today. And of course, the Austin that we have today is so far removed from what it was 30 years ago, and certainly 40 years ago. When I got out of school in 1950, Charlene and I got married, and I told her at the time I would, she lived in Corpus Christi, so we settled in Corpus Christi. And at the time, I said, I would like for us to be able to move to Austin within 10 years. And she said, well, if, if you're so sure about that, why don't we go now? And I said, well, uh, I really don't know how I could make a living in Austin uh, because as uh, state employees and university employees, they hadn't quite uh, reached the status that they have now. So at any rate, we never did get back to Austin, but we got pretty close. Eight years, within eight years, we were in San Antonio, and that's been a great, uh, a great uh, home for us. But now as we look at Austin, uh, I've been thinking about this somewhat. I remember going through the years of Austin, and we talk about can do, and we'd say can do maybe with a little question mark or hesitation. And then we pass that stage to Austin, can do, and we know they can do and they continue to do. But I want to throw out this morning where I think uh, Austin's uh, reputation is now in this area here, and uh, I think we've passed all of that. I think now Austin is a will do, and I think when people think of uh, Austin, whatever industries they're in, uh, whatever. Uh, the people in Austin have earned this reputation as being a place that will do. And that's a long leap from can do, maybe. So as I look and see, just including this center where we are, this is, this is a creation right here that every major university in the world would love to have. I can tell you that this hotel and conference center here uh, is going to bring to Austin the latest technology 